Nigeria. Nigeria ranks 115 out of 180 on the Press Freedom Index. Climate of permanent nonviolence. Of permanent violence, my apologies. Nigeria is now one of the mo- one of West Africa's most dangerous and difficult countries for journalists who are often spied on, attacked, and arbitrarily arrested, or even killed. Two journalists have been shot dead while covering the Islamic movement in Nigeria protests, one in July of 2019 and the other in January of 2020, without any proper investigation with the aim of identifying those responsible. Campaign for the elections in which President and I Butcher this, I apologize. Mamahadu Bahari obtained another term in February of 2019, was marked by an unprecedented level of disinformation, especially on social media. Much of it was the work of officials within the two main parties. The defense of quality journalism and the protection of journalists are very far from being government priorities. With more than 100 independent newspapers, Africa's most populous nation enjoys real media pluralism. But covering stories involved in politics, terrorism, financial embezzlement by the powerful is very problematic. Journalists are often denied access to information by government officials, police, and sometimes the public itself. The all-powerful regional governors are often the, their most determined persecutors and act with complete impunity. In 2018, one governor had part of the promises of a radio station raised after a series of reports criticizing his handling of local affairs. The police also detained a journalist for several days in an attempt to identify his sources. Online freedom is restricted by a 2015 cybercrime law that is widely used to arrest and prosecute journalists and bloggers in an arbitrary manner. In today's day, in, in the in a time of recording, Nigeria currently ranks at 112, up from top, from the uncensored library, and doing better from being at 123 last year. It is still one of one of West Africa's most dangerous and difficult countries for journalists who are regularly monitored, attacked, arbitrarily arrested, as was the case again during 2023 elections. The print media have been in sharp decline in recent years, but are still around the hunch publications, of which The Punch, The Nation, Vanguard, Guardian, and The Premium Times are the most well-known. The majority of the 36 states also have a state-owned daily newspaper that is directly controlled by local authorities. There are several hundred radio stations and TV channels alongside international media. The great popularity of social media helped diversify the media landscape, but has also contributed to disinformation and government interference in news media is still significant. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, Please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.